Good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Merida, which is the largest and the capital city of the Yucatan state of Mexico. This is a beautiful colonial city. And we're only here for two nights, but we rented a house. It's in the old district, the, the colonial area of Merida, just about a kilometer and a half from the, the Grand Plaza. As soon as we walk inside, it's absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna give you a full tour of the house right now. Show you, yeah, show you the house. It's really well done. It's really well fixed up. Let's go inside. And welcome on inside. This, immediately what you'll notice in here are the bright colors, especially the tile on the floor. That's what's gonna stand out immediately. And I love how it's a really high ceiling. Uh, so it feels really open, it feels really spacious. Well, it is really spacious. And it's, these are like block houses. So you, I mean, you can see from outside, they're all connected on the sides, but then they're kind of long and narrow houses. You first enter and this is kind of the entranceway plus the living room. This is the central meeting place. And I should also tell you real fast that I am staying here. It's, it's me, it's Ying, my wife, and our baby Micah. And then we traveled to Mexico with my buddy Carlos. He's a great friend of mine and his wife as well, Annette, and then their baby as well. So there's four adults staying here and two kids. So the house, uh, we have kind of a lot of stuff laying around. So I'll try to clean up as I show you. Okay, so anyway, this is the living room. Uh, I have some sofas here. Oh yeah, pretty nice. And have, the, well, one thing you'll notice is that the owner has done an excellent job to decorate it's not overfilled with stuff, but there's just enough stuff. There's some artwork around. The, what really stands out definitely are the tiles. It brightens up the whole place. One thing that's sort of a downside of this old style colonial house is that it's quite dark on the inside. If you don't have any lights on, oh, you need to have lights on because there's no, the walls are very thick and there's no windows within this room actually because both, uh, both sides lead to other houses and then at the front is just the doors so you do need to have a lot of lights on. And one more feature before we leave this room I just want to show you you can open these little windows in the door. So this would be kind of checking who is visiting you. Oh yeah that's bright that goes right out to the street there. I think that's everything to show you in the living room. Let's continue walking down the hall and you walk through this archway and then all of a sudden you get to red tiles, but these tiles look so classic. They, they, make, they, really make the, they, they really add character to this entire house. The room that Ying and I are staying in is right to the right hand side within this door, but I'll come back to show you that. I'm gonna show you the kitchen first, uh, but this is the, just the hallway. This is, this is a beautiful part of the house, even though it's just a hallway. It has so much character with the tile, with the arches, with the high ceiling. There are a couple of bicycles here that you can use. There is a, a really nice like patchwork quilt. If you walk into the second arch, this leads to the dining room and the kitchen. And again, in this room, you have a different type of tile. It's more of a, like a green mustardy color. And let me try to, let's just try this chair out since we're right here. Oh yeah, this is a pretty classic chair too. A leather like kind of hammock chair. Very nice. This is the dining room. So you've got a nice dining room table here, but very simple, but just kind of like raw wood. I really like it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I had left my half finished cup of coffee on the table. It just feels right to walk around this house and lounge around this house drinking coffee. Well, for any house for that matter. Okay, and then lastly over here is the kitchen. And I'll give you a full view up, but the, the ceiling is really high. You've got a fan up here. You've got everything. It's really spacious. It's, this is a great kitchen. Got the gas stove here. Uh, what is this? A type of, I think it's a coffee percolator possibly. Toaster, blender, coffee maker. This is what I used to make the coffee. And they had, they actually provided us with this coffee. Uh, which I used. It's okay. Um, oh, I still have some coffee left. And then you've got your kitchen utensils over here, everything you need, some cups, some kitchen accessories. And then I particularly love this cabinet here, the turquoise color. And then you've got some pots and pans and some dishes under there as well. Fridge is over here to the left-hand side. Freezer. Oh, there's some tequila in there. And then in the fridge, we have a little bit of milk, 
some Coke, some fruits, and that's about it. Here's part of what I was eating for breakfast right when I decided to make this video, and I just left it and made the video. Let me take another bite of my avocado. Oh. Avocado is one of my favorite single natural things in the entire world. I could, I just, ah, I love avocado. It's such a wonderful thing. One more thing I have to show you in this kitchen is the sink. It's a huge sink, really deep, really wide. Uh, I've got the main faucet here. And then for drinking water, they have a separate faucet over here, which I can see is connected to a, a reverse osmosis filter. Uh, so this is for drinking water. Ah, good fresh water. From the kitchen, let's go back and I wanna show you our room which is over to this side of the hallway. Welcome into our master bedroom. And I, I apologize in advance that it's a little bit, there's, we got some stuff laying around. This is the original master bedroom. So it has all the same decoration, the high ceiling. The bed is actually, oh yeah, oh yeah. The bed is actually quite comfortable and very gushy. Oh, oh hi Ying and Micah, hanging out back here. Whoa. <laughs> One slightly strange thing about this room is that there's no door to the bathroom, uh, which is, I mean, it's kind of artistic, it's kind of cool, but it's kind of strange as well. So the toilet is over here to the left-hand side, and then you've got the shower. Again, nice tile work, and the shower is actually really nice. There is a little bit of natural light in here too, which I like. This is kind of a jungly looking sink. Let me just wash my hands to, whoa. Whoa, that water comes out fast, so fast. And that's the tour of the bathroom again. I think uh, I kind of would prefer a door on the bathroom. Love it. I think that's everything to show you on the inside of the house. I'm gonna show you the outside now. You're gonna love the outside. Come on outside into this Beautiful courtyard. Right to the right hand side is where Carlos and his wife are staying. That's a room, it's almost, the room is almost exactly the same as ours, so I'm not gonna show you their room. Uh, and I think actually though, it's kind of like an addition. It's more of a modern addition to this house. I think, I don't think it was actually included in the original house. Uh, so this room is maybe a little bit more modern in style. You walk out of the patio and then you come, you enter into the courtyard because of the way the house is designed, it's more of a courtyard style because you've got walls on both si on all sides. Uh, but it, this is one of the ultimate chill spots of this entire house. There's a variety of places to sit, including a hammock that goes across the pool. There's some rocking chairs. Uh, the swimming pool, it's more of like a, it's kind of like a cross between a jacuzzi and a dipping pool, but it's perfect. It's not that hot right now. It's it. We're in here in the winter, so it's quite, it's kind of cool actually, and the pool is kind of cold. But in the summer when it's hot, I know the pool would be amazing to just chill out in the pool and just hang out in this courtyard. Oh, yeah, these rockers are just excellent. Let me just take a seat in the hammock. And by the way, they make some of the best hammocks in the world in Yucatan State, or this whole Yucatan uh, Peninsula. The Mayan style hammocks, they're so fine. So you don't have like those big holes in your hammock. Oh, they're so incredibly comfortable. This is one of the places where you can, you can actually sleep here at night and be very, very happy. I think I've shown you everything there is to show you in this house. Uh, again, they've done a great job to restore this old colonial house and also the decoration fits perfectly. Uh, there are four adults, four of us staying here, and we paid exactly $158.03 per night uh, for this entire place all to ourselves. Uh, so it's not, it's not a cheap place, it's not a budget place, but it's, it's affordable, especially if you have four adults and you can have four adults staying here. The actual neighborhood is quiet, but we're just about a kilometer and a half from the, the Grand Plaza, the center of Merida. And Merida is an amazing city to explore. I'm gonna explore much more of this city, walk around and eat some amazing food. So I think that's it for this tour. So big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
I hope this gives you an idea of places that you can stay or rent or live when you visit Merida, when you live in Merida. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe for lots more house reviews and travel tips and airline reviews. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Merida.